Hey guys, we're back for another bloggy film study. Remember to subscribe, like, comment below. We love getting comments from you. Today, let's take a look at Kirk Soraka's debut as Penn State's offensive coordinator and highlight some of his proven concepts as well as some of the new wrinkles we saw on Saturday. Let's talk about the second play of the game. This is where Soraka really needs to make his money. He needs to get into like an outside zone, inside zone play action game. But really, I think he needs to get Sean Clifford out on the run because that's where he's most accurate. So first things first, I want to show you this formation. This is a tray formation with the wing back with Firemuth playing in that wing. The other thing is I want to show you this, this single back tight end right here, the nub. This nub right here puts this odd front in a really big bind because it's gonna, it forces this corner right here to play run support so understand that what they're going to get into is they're trying to get them into a high cover three look out of it so what he does is he fakes the outside zone he points to the mic he rides it for three notice the backside tackle pushes himself back so you have a double off the edge but it is a seven man protection now notice how clifford drops back now and he sees the field but he's got plenty of room and he starts to move himself to the boundary. Now they do a great job of scramble drill, but I want you to see how Sean Clifford lets this ball go on the run, taking a shot, but he puts that ball on a 20 yard dime route, a 20 yard dime route to the receivers. This is important to see because the number one thing that I think a lot of people overlook is how good he is on the run. All right, so same drive. Let's talk about this. It's fourth and goal. They're in an unbalanced set with a four-man blocking surface to a side. That what they do is they bring them, they bring the tight end to a motion, and they try. They what they do is they're going to take themselves and they're going to put themselves on the back end so that this defensive end gets blocked. They've run the same play twice in a row on the goal line. So watch what he calls. He calls same inside zone, but he leaks Firemuth into the end zone off of the down block because he knows they have cover zero and it's fourth and goal from the three. I mean, who's going to pass it here? Great play call. Love the script he had in his opening script. Love the pass. I love how they made this happen. Watch it from the end zone. Watch Firemuth go down. He's going to block right simply. He's going to block simply put right here. He's going to go ahead and give a shuck and a go. This is a great play call against cover zero. A great play call right in the first drive. It's easy. Still seven to nothing late in the first. They're two by two. Now watch what happens here. Again, this is, this is the problem with Clifford. He predetermines his throws. This is a cover two look. He thinks he has man, but this is a cover two look. And what they do is they disguise this. The corner sits. What he should have seen is he should have seen this corner turn his shoulders. He should have put that thing on the ticks at 17 yards in the hole, but instead he puts his tight end out here and puts him in a terrible situation and gets him killed. But it was a great catch. You can see right here in that window, this is where he needs to throw that ball in the hole shot against cover two. This is an old school what they call fade route. It's just fade out. Fade out, and you're reading that corner. That corner drives down. That tells me that Sean Clifford is reading his first read only and not moving on. I think that's going to be a problem, Sean. So Soraka is going to have to do a good job understanding that. Okay, so the next thing. This is when we start to fail. This is very simply a slip screen to the running back because Indiana has shown so much pressure. Okay, so he takes a drop. He buys the guys up the field, and he sees that tailback leak out. Two problems with this ball. He drops it from low in his elbow. And the other thing is, this thing is fairly well covered. The only thing you cannot do to a, to a slip screen is you cannot sail that ball. And he had a problem sailing balls all night. This ball needs to be thrown into the ground right now, and this cannot happen. That is a big no-no. That is elementary. That is junior high football. Do not let that happen. Let's watch it from the end zone copy. And this is something you really need to see. Watch the slip. One, two, three. We're going to ragdoll and get out. Okay, great job by the day. offensive line, getting where they need to get. Okay, you're about to pin this thing in and get on the edge. But notice how he has to throw over this D lineman right here. He's too much of a rush. He needs to buy more time. He has more time to throw this ball. But if he feels like this thing is gone, he's got to drop this thing in the ground so that nobody can touch the ball and move on to fight another down. This is a terrible mistake you cannot make. Great play call, bad execution by the quarterback. Okay, so again, second quarter, down 10 to 7. Now you've got a nice, easy crosser right here. This is just simply a very interesting version of four verticals. You're going to get a drag by the outside receiver, which is going to pull the corner down because they're in man, and he's going to get Firemuth one-on-one with probably their third or fourth best DB. He has a clean pocket. Notice how he drops one, two, three. It's third down. He knows he's going to get man. Sits in the pocket, he's got time, but notice how he never steps over his weight. If you watch my previous videos, he always sails these balls. 
when that weight distribution never gets over his front foot, and that is where this ball sails over a six foot seven tight end's head. And this puts yourself in a bad situation. They're in two man. Free safety picks it off. Again, terrible, terrible execution. These are day one to sit, day one things that cannot happen. Let's watch this thing again. I really want to show you this. Look at the crosser. He's got the man. Watch Fryer move set this thing up at the top. Watch. Sets it up. Gives him a stutter. Eyes went out. Sets him, moves his hips. He's got the angle. He's got cushion. He needs to take this thing right now. And that's, again, bad decision by the quarterback. Great play called by Soraka. Okay, second and six. This is when they start driving the ball down the field. Go back to what works. You got the tight end screen in the flat. You've got the two, uh, two receivers blocking for you. Again, remember I told you about the first video. Fire move is going to get used by Sirach in the offense, and I love how he's using him. Okay, third quarter. We got trips with a single side receiver up top. Watch the drop back. Watch this dime piece throw. Guys, this is an NFL throw from the hash to the other number. Watch the out route. Look at that ball, guys. That is 15 yards from the hash outside the numbers. I don't know how many of you have ever played quarterback, but that throw is a lot longer than it looks, and he puts it on a rope. That is a great throw. Now, again, what makes this successful? Well, it's an easy predetermination read. He sees the corner inside leverage. He's going to get an outbreaking route. He knows that this kid right here has no chance on the out route because he's playing inside with his butt to the sideline. So he knows right now when the ball snapped, I know where I'm going with this ball. There's no read. It's just catch, flip, throw. Clifford can do that. He's not a progression read quarterback right now. Okay, second and six, middle of the third quarter. Here's where we're going to start making our money. He starts to get himself into. He basically gets a – it's a very simple rule here. This is just simply inside zone lead. This is an RPO. The RPO is very simple. I'm reading this kid right here. If this kid attacks, okay, I'm going to get up the field. I'm going to run. If this kid stays back and I get the block, we're going to throw the tight end screen to Fryer Muth on the edge. Great decision by the quarterback tucking and running. He's an athlete, folks. That is a great run against a Division I Big Ten defense. So, again, go back to it. Second and 14, middle of the third. Here we go again. This is a great concept. This is the same concept that he threw the pick on earlier in the game. He threw the same exact route concept. You've got a three vertical look out of a different formation. You're going to get a bender, a bender. You're going to get a go. And then you're going to get a, a nice little drag route with the backside. All he's reading is these linebackers right here. Linebackers open and bail. He sees linebacker open and bail. He's going to throw the drag underneath. It's a nice, easy completion. Let your young, new receivers be athletes like this. Now, First and 10, middle of third, you got Trey to the left. Okay, you get the same exact concept. This is the same play if you've noticed. Tight end with the tight end out. Okay. They take the tight end on this. There's the outnumber it. It's an RPO. They trigger. He triggers on that. Pull and run. You have a lead block with a tailback. Again, another seven-yard gain. Great play call. Nice, easy decisions for the quarterback. And he can do this stuff. All right. Two by two, third and a mile. I want you to watch this dime piece by Clifford. Yeah, all right, you have an inside release, and all they're doing is they're running a box concept up top. They're going to box with the inside receiver. They're going to take Friar Muth as the best decoy in America, and they're going to run a dig over the top of it. All he's doing is reading this linebacker. If that linebacker bails on this, he's going to throw this concept right here and get the field and try to make something of it. Throws this dime piece. Guy comes screaming off the edge from a weak side corner blitz. He takes it one, two, three. He doesn't hesitate. He lets it strike. Took, he took a shot to the ribs. Let's a strike. Guys, that is a great play. Got to make that catch. Now you got fourth and 24, but that is a dime. This is, what, this is what Clifford can do, and Soraka figured it out as the game went on. All right, now you got trips up top. Third and nine. Again, this is one of those concepts. Watch him throw this. Again, O-line does a great job. You can't expect much more than this, guys. This is a great job by the offensive line. He doesn't trust it, and that's okay. But again, go back to what we talked about. Phenomenal on the run. Another absolute dime piece he throws, rolling to his left. Watch him get his hips around. Do you know how hard that throw is? Not to mention that throw, that velocity, and that accuracy. Guys, this is glimpses of brilliance right here from this quarterback. I think Sean Clifford, if he ever just develops his mental game, his physical capacity to make these throws is unquestionable. All right, Trey Wright to the field this time. Quarterback draw, 100%. Takes it, 12 yards, easy money. Look at the, look at the thing right here. He sees this, he's thinking it's cover two man. 
It's cover three. They're going to try to jump the. They're going to try to jump fire move again. Again, this should look oddly familiar, guys. Lead block with the tailback. Okay, he's got fire move from the flat. He's just reading that linebacker. That linebacker bounces out with fire move. I just take off because now I have five on six and I got numbers. So now they're using fire move as the number one decoy in that entire offense, and I absolutely love that play call. All right, trips to the field again. Here we go. One, two, three. Open up. He's going to sit and watch him run. Guys, this is what he can do. This is what he can do. My Lord, this is a phenomenal play. Here he goes. He sees it. Okay, all you're going to get, again, you're going to get a deeper box concept. Box, dig over the top. They're just going to read that linebacker. He gets pressure right now because the center gets beat. Okay, center gets beat, turns his hips. So but what he does, takes off, and Clifford makes something of a play. Look at this run, guys. Phenomenal. He takes this thing to the house on second down and 16. Do you know how impressive this is? This is so impressive for him to be able to do these things. Guys, you have an NFL quarterback on your side. He has just got to develop. Now, here we go. Trips. This is what we call stick and nod, a stick and up route. Okay, watch the fire move. He's going to set it down. Boom. Set up for the hitch. And then he's going to put his foot in the ground, and he's going to get vertical, and the quarterback's going to throw him back shoulders to take him away from that, that safety. Again, guys, this is a great play call. Great route, great throw. It doesn't get much better than that. Now watch this ball. This was a great one. Really enjoyed this one. Watch how he buys time in the pocket. They run a, they run a really weird-looking cover three look. He steps up. Eyes are downfield. He's on the run again, not in the pocket. Let's this thing rip. He beats the high safety, and you've got speed. Use it, boys. That is a phenomenal play. I want you to see something. Okay, now watch. Watch Parker Washington pulls this thing across. He's going to hold that kid there. Middle safety's playing the middle of the field, but he's looking for anything in cut, and there you go. You got it deep, middle of the field wide open. Hit it on the run. Beautiful play. Overtime. This is what our boy can do. He's got, a, he's got a zone read, triple option look. He's got Fryermuth in the, in the flat. These guys are so worried about Fryermuth that the quarterback has an easy run and catch. Again, easy first down, first play. Give him something he can do. Great play call. All right, so now let's talk about third down seven. Okay, quarter the center again. He gets worked a little bit. He gives up a little penetration. They do a twist on the inside. Watch on the run. This is a great, again, Outside the pocket, watch Sean Clifford put this on the money to Parker Washington, slams that thing in, great ball, only he can catch that. Guys, I have seen Parker Washington catch balls in person down here in Texas, and that dude needs to get the ball in his hands because he is phenomenal. All right, let's talk about the play. Everybody needs to talk about the play. A minute 47, you're up by one. They have one timeout. 40 second play clock in NCAA, as soon as the ball's down, the 40-second play clock starts. So think about this. A minute 47, you have three downs, okay? Three downs. They use one timeout. That play takes seven seconds. It's 140. You run another play, second down, okay? Now you take 40 seconds off of that play. It'd be 45 seconds. So now you're sitting at your 55 seconds. Now they can't stop the clock. So now you're on third down, 55 seconds. Now you can just run around eliminate, say, seven seconds of the game, take it all the way down to about 12 seconds, kick the field goal, win the game. One thing you cannot do, you cannot score. And this was a great coaching decision by Indiana, and I respect the crap out of it. They got out coached here. Inside zone read, watch these guys open themselves up. Watch this, watch this right here. He figures it out as he opens up, set it down. This is youth talking right here, guys. Shut it down. That changed the game and they knew it.